Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mario 64. And uh, last time out we headed through um, Boo, uh, Big Boo's Haunt, I believe is what it was called. Um, and so in this part we're going to be uh, we're opening up the second area of the game and getting through and finding the uh, second lot of um, levels, the more, I guess... Um, <clears throat> sorry, the more intermediate kind of levels, the more uh, slightly more difficult, slightly more complex. Um, and we're getting involved with the first of those, but first I've got to chase a rabbit. That's another level, which is a bit of a hidden piece of shit, but dive, got him. <laughs> there you go, you piece of garbage. You're now mine. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've got ourselves our next power star. That's one of the easier ones. Um, bit of a pain to get, I suppose, but um, not difficult to find. <laughs> Alright. Let's head in, shall we? Alright, the next world is Hazy Maze Cave, which is... <coughs> My apologies. Uh, not a fun one, but let's get going. <laughs> one of the more annoying um, uh, worlds in the game uh, and I think we're not actually going for the first um, game yet. Ow! My face. <laughs> Indiana Jones got nothing on me. Uh, <laughs> um, I think we're going for the... Um, so are we going to jump off? There you go. Boom. So yeah, we need to head down to this um, little lake area first. In we go. Um, and we've got to jump up on Nessie's back here. <laughs> Which doesn't look too bad actually. Nessie's model doesn't look too bad. For N64. Oh, I'm slipping and sliding. You've got to uh, do a butt stomp on her back. And then you steer here by um, the way Mario is kind of facing. So you look to the right, he turns right, you look to the left, he turns left. Look straight ahead, he goes uh, straight on. Kind of obvious, but yeah. There we go, we're heading for those double doors over there. Oh, the door popped out. Oh shit, I've dropped. Fuck. <sighs> Yeah, it's a little bit finicky. Oh my god. And that happens to me a fair bit of just the kind of passing through Nessie's back for some fucking reason. Alright, let's get back on. Foot stomp. And back on the head. There we go. Yeah, you kind of snap to looking to the right. Straight for straight off, and I don't really know why. Uh, jump across to here. Oop, fuck. <laughs> that would have been annoying. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're not getting the first um, the first power star yet. We've got to get the. We're unlocking the Metal Mario suit. Um, or the Metal Mario cap, I should say. Um, allows us to walk on, on um. Uh, walk underneath water. Um, <clears throat> also allows us to uh, jump into enemies and kill them with ease. Thank you. Um, and also uh, means we can't get hurt by poisonous gas and we can't drown underwater. So. It's it's it looks cool, but it's really not all that useful, to be honest. <laughs> and you get another power star while you're down here as well, so boom. <coughs> My apologies. So there you go. And that's power star number one. Well it's I guess technically it's power star number zero. <laughs> um 
And it also means we can go back to the first water level and complete that level now. So, but we won't be doing that for a little while. So there we go. Which means we've only got one more cap to unlock, which is the Vanish Cap. But that's not going to be for a little while. Let's actually do number one now. <laughs> um, I tend to do these things in order. It's probably not the most optimal way of doing it, but I always just go straight through in order. Jump across. Ah! Where'd that boulder come from? Came out of nowhere. <laughs> And I've got my health back. <clears throat> so now we're going to get the actual first star, which is probably one of the easiest in the t to get in the entire game. Ow, my butt. <laughs> oh, wow. Lost half my health just jumping. That really sucks. But anyway, it's pretty easy. Because we're going to... Um, do the same thing again. Ground pound on his back, on her back. Go on the head. And then we're even pointing in the right direction, so just keep pressing right and jump across and boom. And that's power star number one for Hazy Maze Cave. Pretty comfortable and easy to get, but um, yeah. They get trickier as we go along, so let's keep going. Time to head in for uh, star number two, elevate for elevate for red coins. This one, it's not hard. <laughs> it's just kind of annoying, uh, mainly because of the um, automated section later on. So let's jump down here. Go down the pole. And we've got to head for these steps in the corner. Up we go. Do it again. There we go. And now we've got to get on this thing. Now, this thing is kind of irritating, <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, basically, it has four buttons. Press the left one to go left, forward to go forward, back to go back, that kind of thing. It can be a little bit irritating to try and get, though. Hit. Oh, I... <sighs> Ow, my face. <laughs> this is why this level's fucking irritating. Oh, God damn it. That was me trying to do the, um... <laughs> trying to do the backflip jump, which... I kind of sucked. I kind of sucked there. But anyway... Nope. We're gonna hit the side there. No, I'm not. Okay, we're all right. We're all good. We're all right. <laughs> this is why I kind of hate this section because it's so finicky to control. Um, and this is probably, I think, one of the worst to get hundred coins in as well. Oh fuck you! Through the power of editing. Um, shit, shit, shit. Come back. There we go. Now we need one more, and then we're done with this fucking thing. And boom, there we go, we've got the first four. <coughs> My apologies. And I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know why I bothered to ride it back, it would have been quicker just to drop to the floor and then go to the um, steps in the corner again, but, yeah, what can you do, eh? Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, this one is a... It's so slow. <laughs> Fucking hate it. So yeah, now I have to slowly make my way across. I think I fucked this up. I'm pretty sure I fucked this up. Yeah, because I'm trying to long jump across to here. No, oh, no, I managed it. Oh, look at that. Genius platforming just there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and now it's this part. This part is probably more irritating. I, I did that a lot during this record. <laughs> Accidentally pressing the up button and going into first person mode. Um, this part seems relatively straightforward. You just have to, you know, stay on the 
thing. Uh, it goes along the fixed path. You pick up the red st the red coins. Just another three to get. Nice and easy. No difficulty whatsoever. So let's jump over here. Yeah, nice and easy. Just jump. Look at that. Nice and easy. Oh shit. There's a bat. Oh, fu fuck. Go away, bat. Go away, bat. I'm so close. Ah. God damn it. <laughs> and boom. And there we go. That's the eight red coins. Done. Probably the most... Uh, well, no. It's the second most pain in the ass section of the of Hazy Maze Cave. And I did it again. And that's... Uh, power star number two for Hazy Maze Cave. Done. Thank the Lord. Same continue. Getting the hundred coins for this mission is a real pain in the ass. Um, because there's like a blue switch in one of them, and you have to get all the blue coins on that switch, otherwise you can't get a hundred coins. So annoying. But anyway, Metal Mario can move. Uh, star. Power star number three. Uh, and I th I'm trying to remember what this one is. Is this... Oh, okay. I remember this one. I remember this one. This one can be a little bit of a pain. It's a bit of a timed one. I never do it first time, <laughs> first time of asking. But anyway, we're going to jump down here. Ground pound just before you hit the bottom to negate damage. And then we're going to get ourselves our Metal Mario power-up. You basically just want to follow this path under the water. And I've gone the wrong way. Nope, there we go. That's the right way. Up here. And fuck. Got to hit that switch while you're Metal Mario. You can't press it down unless you're Metal Mario. So jump on it. Opens up these gates and you can enter this door. Pretty simple. This can be where it goes horribly wrong. Oh, I only just about got that, but there you go. You can do that with uh, two perfectly timed long jumps. Um, best to probably stop on the middle one, to be honest. Though. Anyway. That's past number three. Next is four, uh, which is navigating toxic mate. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> Four and five are the one are the two power stars which of Hazy Maze Cave which I hate the most. <laughs> uh, out my face! It's just because it's such a massive pain in the ass. It's just such a massive pain in the ass to kind of get through and find your way. We want to head through this door here, and we've got to head down this hole. Thank you for the coins, and uh, down we go. Um, Tommy can't stay under there forever, dude. Oh my god, I'm getting my ass handed to me. I always hate this section. Get it? Get it? There you go. Now we're Metal Mario, we can't get hurt by the um, things here. By the, uh, what's it called? The star. By the uh, poison gas. And I've already fucked up with, so I'm not doing 100 coins. Well, I wasn't going to be doing them anyway. Ow, I'm going to die. Let's run. Yeah, I find this place really hard to navigate. It's such a pain in the ass. I'm going to die. Shit. I think here I'm just like, where do I go? Right. Where you pick up the first Metal Mario power up, you want to go here and you want to find, go through this door up here. In fact, I do this in the wrong order. <laughs> This is actually power star number five that we're getting right now. Um, and it was purely because... <coughs> fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's purely because... I always forget which, you know, door I'm supposed to get up to. And so, yeah, it's, now we're here. This is a pain in the ass. Do quick two jumps in quick succession. Um, and you're here, and you're able to get up. Keep holding the jump button in to to hang off the um, railings. And there's our power star. 
This is actually Power Slam 5. Like I said, I did it out of order. Because I always forget which exit is for 4 and which is for 5. Like I said, these two are the biggest pain in the ass in the whole, f in the whole Hazy Maze Cave area. I hate them. <laughs> they suck. So down we go. As you can see, yeah, that I got five. Let's go for four, shall we now? <laughs> Let's get moving. Uh, yeah, that cut there was because I was looking up. Okay, where's this exit? <laughs> and I, f I know where the exit is now. So let's get going. Oh, my face. And we're going to jump down here. That's one thing I will say about this is that it's pretty much, um, for all the power stars, it's pretty much just only two ways you can go. You either go left or you go right. Um, so that's something at least. Still a pain in the ass. <laughs> um, but it's pretty much the same way you just go to the left. And we're going to avoid that door. We're moving on to the next door, which is here. Which is just here, and there we go. And we've now found our way, so let's get going. Upwards to the next floor. And up we go. And there's the power star. Nice and easy. There you go. Done. <laughs> so that's five out of the six got. We've got one more to go. Uh, let's head down then for power star number six, uh, which is watch for falling rocks. This one, rolling rocks. What was that? What the fuck? This one's probably the easiest one of the lot for me. It's pretty fucking easy to get. We're heading towards where the rolling rocks are. <laughs> Shocking, I know. Um, so we're going to long jump. I, I do that sometimes, just ground pound instead of the long jump. Ow, my face. Avoid me. There you go. There we go. And now instead of going through this door, we're going to wall jump. One, two, three. Cubby hole. And then we're going to jump across to the... Jump across and boom. Power star get. And that's all six for Hazy Maze Cave got. So we're done with this fucking world. We don't have to bother with this shit anymore. Um, Hazy Maze Cave is done. Not my favourite world by any stretch of the imagination. And there you go. Um, so yeah, I was looking through, kind of like, where do I have to go next? Okay, we're going back to Jolly Roger Bay. But first, talk to this toad. Toad, talk to me. What are you doing, buddy? Talk to him. And... He gives you a power star. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are a few toads, uh, I think, in all the uh, in in areas of the castle where you can um, talk to them, and they'll give you a power star. Why? I don't know. But anyway, we're heading back to Jolly Roger Bay for the final one through the jet stream because now we've got the um, metal cap. We can just uh, we can get this done now. So we're gonna long jump. And we're going to go up here. And we're going to jump across. Ooh. Long jump over here. Fuck. Did it again. <laughs> Long jump. Backflip jump. Uh, or side jump, I suppose. Right, yeah. Um, this is me trying to work out. Okay, where do I need to go? Okay. I need to grab this and I need to long jump. So long jump into here. And you'll drop down. And you can see it right at the bottom there. We couldn't get it before uh, because of the fact that it has a like a stream of air kind of pushing you up, and you have just about enough time to reach it. And boom, done. And that's Jolly Roger Bay finished up. That's all six of Jolly Roger Bay done. So yeah, there you go. That's it for this part of Super Mario 64. Join me next time for the next part where we're going through the next. Um, uh, world of the uh, game which is going to be Lethal Lava Land and we're also going to be getting the final cap uh, final special cap of the game which is the Vanish Cap so I'll see you next time for the next part of Super Mario 64 <sighs> see you next time